Man, this is getting real crazy. Now, like I said, we've been doing a lot of videos on Tiffany Henyard and all the things that's going on in Dalton and all the laws that she's broken. And, you know, the feds is coming in, they're investigating. You have the news channels investigating. But all across America right now, you have a lot of lawyers and uh, mayors and district attorneys all getting in trouble. And a lot of them are black women. Um, but in Baltimore, uh, we remember Marilyn Mosby. You know, she was just sentenced to a year um, uh, home detention in a, in, a, in a fraud case, right? And I'm, I'm showing you this to see how... Why just just how Marilyn Mosby is, is sentenced to a year and she was facing up to 40 years for something simple. So when it comes to Tiffany Henyard and all the things that she's accused of, I mean, listen, we remember back in 2015 when uh, Freddie Gray uh, died in police custody and six Baltimore police officers was acquitted. Marilyn Mosby, she dropped charges down on them and she, she gained like national prominence from that. But, um, man, it, it's, it's getting real crazy. It's, it's, in 2020, at the height of the uh, pandemic, Mosley withdrew 90000 from Baltimore City's deferred composition plan and used it to make down payments on, vaca on a vacation home in Kissimmee. Prosecutors er argued that Mosley uh, improperly uh, assessed the funds through uh, provisions of the Coronavirus Act Aid Relief and Economy Security Act by falsely claiming that the pandemic had harmed her travel-oriented side business. But we found out that that wasn't true, right? Mosley's sentencing argument said that the retirement funds came from her own income and that no one was, def uh, was defrauded because she paid an early withdrawal penalty in all uh, federal taxes on money. The government said that money remained uh, the property of the city until she was legally eligible. Uh, so she basically took her money, but the government said that that money was still the prop, uh, property of the city. But I'm going to say this. She had enemies. She had enemies. And she came out, you know, uh, um, she had people that want to take her down. Every, Baltimore is a mainly Democratic city, but everybody's not um, a Democrat. Mosley's mortgage fraud conviction stems from, five, from a 5,000 gift letter she submitted when taking a loan to buy the Longboat Key property. Prosecutors said... The letter falsely stated that Mosley's husband was giving her a $5,000 gift for uh, close, uh, for closing when it was her own money. So she got in trouble for that, right? She went on to, um, uh, I think, um, the news to talk about it after, her, after she was given a one-year sentence. Check this out. As one of the few black state attorneys, Marilyn Mosby took a number of political risks during her eight-year tenure. She moved to decriminalize sex work and marijuana. She established programs to provide nonviolent drug offenders with alternatives to incarceration, and even started one of the country's only youth and prevention departments. But it wasn't until after her push to prosecute the officers who killed Freddie Gray that she found herself on the other side of the courtroom, convicted of fraud for withdrawing funds from her own Baltimore Deferred Compensation Retirement Account, something 739 other city employees, including three people who worked in the same agency as Attorney Mosby, did during the pandemic. Yet she was the only one prosecuted and now faces up to 40 years in prison. Marilyn Mosby joins me now. Um, I guess the first most obvious question is, how are you doing? This must have hit you like a, a, a Mack truck. I mean, first and foremost, I'm blessed. And so thank you for having me on. Um, yeah, it's, it's still an incredibly sobering moment, right? We, I've done absolutely nothing wrong, nothing illegal, nothing criminal. This was your money. Was there any public money involved in this transaction? No, absolutely not. This was not, despite how... I've been vilified, um, you know, when the gag order was in place and I was unable to defend myself. It's just not PPP loans. This right. is not a COVID relief funding. This was the money that I was putting away every two weeks in a retirement savings account. And I was advised I could withdraw from this fund. There was, uh, you know, the person that testified, the government witness, got on the stand and said, all I needed to do was suffer a $50 adversity. Right. And I had more than a $50 adversity as a result of COVID. So. I didn't even take the stand right. once that came out, yeah. right? And it's like, obviously, I'm not going to be convicted. I know that this was politically targeted, um, and it's it was sobering. Now, I don't really think that she really broke any laws like that because it was her money. They were saying that it was still the city's money until she was eligible. But this is Judge, Judge uh, Grisby rejected the defense argument that the forfeiture amounted 
to an excessive fine, ruling that um, Mosley must surrender the assets gained through her crimes. The judge did allow Mosley, Mosley to collect back more uh, more than forty thousand that she used as a down payment on the long uh, a long boat key condo, but the uh, mortgage of four hundred and twenty eight uh, the mortgage of four hundred twenty eight thousand was fraudulently obtained. While the government argued that Mosley should not be entitled to any of the condo's appreciated value. It has swelled hundreds of thousands of dollars since it was purchased. She said Mosley could recover 10% 10, uh, 10 since that matched the portion. So she wasn't in a lot of trouble, but people saw it to get her out of office. They wanted to take her down and get her out of there. So what does that say for Tiffany Henyard? When Tiffany Henyard has been getting destroyed for months uh, of unallocated funds, um, police, police chiefs being fired, all kinds of stuff. This is all the stuff that's le that's levied against Tiffany Henry. Check this out. Fox 32 has obtained copies of the two federal subpoenas served on Thornton Township on Friday. And there are two big takeaways. Tiffany Henyard is clearly a target of the criminal investigation. And that investigation is growing. Well, overall, it tells me that the investigation is expanding. It's not just focusing on the city of Dalton. Former FBI agent Ross Rice says the subpoenas revealed the burgeoning scope of the federal criminal investigation into Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. One subpoena focuses entirely on Henyard, including two businesses she owns, a restaurant and a property management company, as well as Henyard's political fund and the charity bearing her name. It asks for all records, including personnel files, wage and tax statements, time and attendance, records of work performed, contracts, and checks written to cash. The mayor and the township supervisor, who are one and the same, appear to be the primary focus of the investigation. The second subpoena requests a kitchen sink of township records, including financial reports, budgets, payroll records, and ordinances covering credit card purchases, expense reimbursements, security details, and the use of vehicles. Mayor Officer Young put in for 303 sounds, hours in a two-week like period. 303 like hours. Fox 32 has reported like extensively like about Henyard's use of a police security detail, which police say has hampered their ability to fight crime. Do you need security to protect you from questions from reporters? The subpoena also asks for payments and credit card expenditures for a number of township employees, including Henyard's top lieutenant, Keith Freeman, some township trustees, and Henyard's boyfriend, who runs the township's youth violence prevention program. Hey, y'all, this is Mayor Tiffany Henyard, Supervisor Henyard, the people supervisor. The subpoena also focuses on township travel, including a story first reported by Fox 32 and the Illinois Answers Project about a trip Henyard took to Springfield in 2022 with Dalton and Thornton Township employees, ostensibly to raise money for a cancer charity in her name. We wondered who was paying for all of this, and so are the feds who ask for records of municipal resources being used on behalf of friends of Tiffany Henyard, her political fund, and charitable organizations, including the Tiffany Cares Foundation, which involved a $10,000 donation of taxpayers' money made by the township. It's very broad in the scope. It's very broad in the number of people and entities they're asking uh, for records on. Um, so there must be some serious allegations of wrongdoing that they're trying to get to the bottom of. It's the second round of federal subpoenas. On April 20th, four FBI agents served a pair of subpoenas on the village of Dalton, asking for the personnel files of 29 employees. I was pleasantly surprised. Stephanie Wiedemann is a former township employee turned whistleblower who's been helping the FBI in its investigation. What do we want? We want township back! Over the weekend, she took part in a rally of Thornton Township residents calling on Henyard to resign. Wiedemann says the latest subpoenas are a welcome sign. I hope that the township founds, finds a way to be able to recoup the damage that has been done. But I hope that the people that did the damage, I mean, there's repercussions for making bad decisions. Through a spokesperson, Henyard declined to comment about the subpoenas. The township has until May 20th to turn over all those records to a federal grand jury that's been impaneled to investigate. Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. So if Marilyn Mosby was facing 40 years in prison, 40 years for alleged fraud, what is Tiffany Henry facing? 
What is she going to face when they see that she spent money here? She allocated money here. They want to, uh, she mixing and matching money between uh, 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 Thornton Township and Dalton. How she's going to, how is she going to answer to that? Like this thing, this thing is really crazy. And I'm looking at, I'm looking at um, these women that's, that's, that's getting in trouble, right? So Merlin Mosley had the Black Caucus come out. She tried to appeal to the president for a pardon, all kinds of stuff, just for taking out her own money. Tiffany Henyard is in serious trouble. And I know how the feds operate. They don't rush. Everybody want them to hurry up and be fast. That's not how the feds operate. They going. They already went after Keith Freeman. They going after that so-called boyfriend. Everybody, listen, they going down, bro, because she's going to have to be able to show every last dollar, dime, and penny on where it was allocated to and what she used it for. If not, she's going to have a fraud case, man. But I just wanted to just show you guys, man, the difference and, and how this thing worked and what they're doing. This woman was facing 40 years, man, and she was elected official. What is Tiffany Henry? What's going to happen with Tiffany Henry? Leave your comments in the comment section, man. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.